Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in a new film space, so sorry about the delay and breaks in between the video, but I'm set up and it's gonna be bomb. Today we're gonna be looking at the new Fenty Beauty launch for summer, so the Popsicle Juicy Satin Lip, these cuties, Vivid Liquid Eyeliner Trio. I'm really excited about this because I love colored liquid liner, but most of them with the color range that I like crack and crumble off. So I'm excited to see how these do. I actually don't wear a ton of lipstick. I usually just use lip balm. So they came up with some new Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. Super excited about that. Pretty sure this is gonna stay in my purse, my car, everywhere. And the Pro Kisser Lip Loving Scrub Stick. Super stoked about it. So I've already done my bronzer and foundation and brows and all that stuff because the last video I went through the new bronzer. So I'll just link that below if you want to see how to get to this step. We got lots of stuff to get through, so um, let's jump into it. So first up, we have the Pro Chrysler Lip Loving Scrub Sticks. It's less free lip scrub in a twist up stick, packed with apricot seed scrubbers to gently exfoliate while nourishing the lips. And then we have the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm, which gives softer, smoother, lipstick-ready pout. Shea and mango butters, and a plush doe foot applicator. Cool, so might as well just try that on now so that our lips are prepped when we get to that step, because we want to jump to eyes after this. But I'm going to try the lip scrub. It smells really good. But my lips are quite ashy, as you can see. So I'm going to give the scrub a try. what I'm assuming you do. Ooh, scrubby. This smells really, really good. And one thing I kind of like about this is I feel like I haven't like used half of it by getting the scrub, which I've seen in lip scrub sticks, is you feel like you, you go through it like super fast. Hmm, doesn't really taste like anything, but it smells good. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to rub it off after, but yeah, even just that, it looks like it's all even color. My lips are a little bit gray on the outer parts because they're a little bit tan right now, but juicy. I like that. I would totally have that in my purse for sure. I always find that my lips get like super duper dry, which is one of the reasons why I don't like to wear a ton of lipstick, but this feels really, really good. So I'm gonna try the lip balm, which I am super stoked about because I have like three lip balms in my car and three in my purse, and then I'll even mix my lipstick with lip balm. But anyway, let's give it a go. I thought it was gonna be like a gloss, but it feels like um, butter almost. From ashy to classy, this looks pretty nice. I really like that. And it isn't greasy or sticky at all. It feels really good. This is gonna be my everyday makeup routine, for sure. Let's see what it does after I talk and stuff throughout the other products and see how well it holds up. My lips feel more plumping just by sitting here for a couple minutes after giving that good scrub and putting the lip balm on. I feel like it feels really good. It looks so big and juicy. I find sometimes when you're trying to moisturize over top of dead skin, so for me, my lips get very dry. It doesn't really go as deep, just like as if you're exfoliating your skin. Sometimes it's good to give it a good scrub, reset, and then you know do your skincare and it can absorb a lot better. So I feel like doing the scrub first and then the lip balm over top, like my lip color looks even and I always get it dark on the outer parts of my lip. I don't wanna take this off. This is nice. I really like it. It actually looks like my, sh my lips are the same color. It looks really good, yeah. Right? Okay, anyways distracted lots. Next, I wanted to look at these Vivid Liquid Eyeliner Trios. This one is Bay K. So these are the three colors in the Bay K collection. This cute pink, a white, and a yellow with like the subtlest hint of green in it. Bomb. These are the swatches for that one. This one is Baywatch. This one has a dope muted darker pink, a slime green, and a really true ocean blue. Here are the swatches for Baywatch. Super cute. This one is the Bayside Trio. So a neutral pink, a lighter slime green, and a darker true ocean blue. So those are all the swatches all together. So I will say, you know, there's usually like a type of eyeliner that works best for you that you would know how to use. I do fantastic with cream gels in a little pot and like the felt tip, like the fly liner works amazing for me. 
These are a little more scary, this method, because they're so free. And I'm also free and sometimes I need something like a felt tip to keep it controlled. But I'm gonna try my best and uh, hopefully create some magic. First, I'm gonna go into Lime Fever. I'm gonna go just a little bit above, so um, it's going across. I'm gonna do a light coat and then go over top if I need to. This color's really dope though. And I'm gonna do again on this side. Whoops, it's got curly lashes. I'm quiet because I'm scared, but I think this is gonna be really dope because it's actually going on really nice and smooth. And I'm gonna leave a space there a little bit and connect it. And I'm just trying my best to smooth any little dips that I make because like I said, I'm not used to this type of thing for eyeliner, but it makes sense. It's like a paintbrush. My eye goes right into my socket, so I'm just letting it dry a little bit before I move too much. I love this color, like I would just wear this by itself. I think it would be tight just as an outline, but we're trying colors today, we're gonna do the most. Next, I'm gonna take the yellow, Banana Blaze, this cutie right here, and I think I'm gonna fill in my inner corners of my eyes. Didn't mean to go on the lid, but that's okay. I'm just gonna paint in here. It's a little tricky because I have eyelashes in the inner corner of my eye. Neat. Next, I'm gonna take the skinny dip and I'm gonna attempt to fill in that blank space a little bit. Wish me luck. The reason why I didn't do this first is because I felt like it'd be easier to touch up the green than the blue. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit more because I feel like this can be bigger. Now I'm gonna go back in with the green and touch up the sides, but I want it to dry a little bit before I touch it up just so it doesn't like melt into each other like the yellow did, which looks tight, but I want it to be quite bold on top of the blue, so I'm gonna wait for it to dry. Totally forgot to leave the space for that. Close enough. Now I'm gonna go in and extrify the green. Okay, wow, we went all the way out there. I'm just holding my breath and hoping for the best. There's no real uh, special techniques right now. I'm just saying prayers as I'm doing this. That's about it. Just trying to make it thicker. Okay, so you know what? I don't need to be super perfect for me to sleep at night. This is enough to look cute underneath lashes, I think. But I don't know, let's just like be a little bit extra and do a little pink, why not? I'm gonna go right underneath my lashes. I'm just gonna paint it right into my freaking bottom lashes cause like, at this point. I actually let it mix into my concealer a little bit, but whatever, it's still pink down there. It's kind of like a lavendery pink. All right, that's about all the time I'm gonna spend on that. I thought they were going to be a little bit cracky cause I noticed it was moving a little bit, but that's when I had the first very sheer amount on there so let's see what it looks like when i put lashes on i'm gonna take the tarte big ego mascara love the color of the packaging well it's just got the stuff in it but that's okay we just want some black so for lashes just to make sure we're not covering up all the hard work we just did i'm gonna use the opulence lashes by lily lashes and i want to put a ton of mascara on it Lashes like these are good for this stuff because they're thin and they're long, so you can make them more bold, but they look a little bit more like real lashes. Just to kind of complete this look, before we move on to lips, I'm just gonna do a little highlighter. I'm gonna use Rose on Ice Fairy Bomb Shimmer Powder. Just pretty much on the highest points of my face. Oh wow, I accidentally just let it go splat on my nose. Should've done this before my eyelashes, but no regrets. Let's just be hella shiny. Cool, let's uh, get into these lippies. So this is a complete look for now. We're going to try the Poutsicle Juicy Satin Lips as I showed you in the beginning. These cute little fellas. Instead of swatching it on my arm or something, I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch on my lips. Bold Luscious Color Juicy Satin Finish. Mmm, delish, we're gonna try them on.
so wow. I tried them all on. They're super bright, but I think they're super cute and fun for summer. It actually really reminds me of this photo shoot that Rihanna did that I was obsessed with, um, where she had this really cool, like, bright colored lips like this and eyeliner and like yellow hair. I'm gonna try and find it. So this, Okay, so definitely not yellow hair, but this was like a little long ago. I love this shoot of hers so much. I just love the color. They feel really nice on the lips. The pink ones stay in a touch, but whatever. If you're like wearing a, a bright pink, then you probably don't mind for it to last. If you partying, it'll stay. They do feel juicy, and I love the packaging. That completes the review. We got through everything. Let me know what you are going to grab, because I think this collection is super cute. I really like the liners. They hold up a lot better than some of the other ones I've used in the past from different brands of colorful liners, which I love. I think they're super fun, but like I said, sometimes they crack. These ones are holding up really well, except for in the inner corners of my eyes where I have my eyelash hairs. It kind of moved a little bit there, but I think if you just give it another layer, it should be okay. So that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. Love yourself, stay pretty, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.